Welcome top news today. President Trump speaks during a cabinet meeting at the White House in Washington last month. Jab and bots for the Washington Post The White House intends to release a new immigration framework Monday that officials said would satisfy President Trump's demands in the stalled congressional negotiations over the fate of younger immigrants known as dreamers. Lawmakers face a Feb. 8 deadline for a must-pass spending bill to keep open the government, but Democrats and some Republicans have said they will not support a long-term deal that does not address the future of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program that Trump terminated last fall. The bulk of work permits for 690,000 Dreamers, immigrants who have been in the country illegally since they were children, begin to expire March 5. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said the framework represents a compromise that members of both parties can support. We encourage the Senate to bring it to the floor. The plan, she said, would deal with four areas Trump has focused on, increasing border security, ending a diversity visa lottery program, curbing legal immigration channels for families of U.S. citizens and providing legal status for DACA recipients. We've had dozens of conversations with them, Sanders said of lawmakers. And the framework that you see Monday will be born out of a lot of those conversations that we've had with a number of members, both Republicans, Democrats, House and Senate. Yet Sanders declined to offer specifics, and it was unclear whether the White House would release detailed plans or general guidelines. Late last year, the White House sent a long list of immigration principles meant to inform Congress members of Trump's priorities but lacking specifics. Trump said during a meeting with a large group of lawmakers at the White House two weeks ago that he would sign whatever plan Congress sent him. A bipartisan group in the Senate led by Richard J. Durbandil and Lindsey o. Graham R.S.C. presented a proposal to Trump last week that attempted to address his concerns. It included $1.6 billion for a wall and offered a path to citizenship for dreamers. Trump has rejected that plan. The president also didnt reach a deal with Senate Majority Leader Charles E. Schumer D.N.Y., who reportedly offered far more money for the border wall. The lack of a deal on immigration led to an impasse over a spending bill and resulted in a partial government shutdown Saturday before lawmakers voted Monday to extend funding three more weeks. If they fail to agree on a spending plan by February 8, the government could shut down again. We've taken into account all of the conversations that we've had, both at the presidential and the staff level, and tried to incorporate that into what we think addresses all of the different things that we've heard from the various stakeholders throughout the last several months, Sanders said. After decades of inaction by Congress, it's time we work together to solve this issue once and for all, she added. The American people deserve no less.